hey guys welcome back to another video for today's video i'm going to be sharing my top 10 fragrances that i am excited to wear for winter 2023 slash 2024 and the reason why i say that i am excited to wear is because usually when i do like my top seasons perfumes i usually pick like my favorites for that season but this one I want to title it top 10 that I'm excited for because my nose has been going through like a complete change. I recently moved. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know all this. But if you are new here, I have lived in like warm, humid climates for a lot of years. I was raised in Chicago when I was little, but I left when I was about 10 years old. And then ever since then, I've lived in places where they have like a tropical, humid, warm weather so that's kind of what i'm used to for winter so i lived in miami i've lived in tampa and then recently i lived in puerto rico puerto rico is super tropical i mean christmas time it's just tropical weather you can literally sit by the beach during christmas time and you're totally fine so now that i moved to kentucky where it definitely gets cold i'm loving the weather here i'm loving the vibes i'm loving just like the just cold days where i can just wear like a sweater or a jacket and along with that has come so much change like things are just not smelling the same to me i am kind of like relearning everything pretty much so this year i just did not feel as confident to title a video my top favorites for winter because literally i'm kind of learning them as i go so we're going to talk about the ones that i'm excited to wear this winter season. So with that said, because that was a super long intro, let's jump right into my top fragrances that I am super excited to wear this winter season. All right guys, so I picked out 10 fragrances that I would say half of them I'm super familiar with and then half are like totally new. I cannot wait to wear them, to get to know them, see if they end up becoming favorites. So I will let you know as I go along if this is a fragrance that I am very familiar with or if it is like my first winter that I'm going to use it and I'm very excited about it. So first off, we're going to start off with one that was a new release this year. So this is my first winter using this fragrance and I'm just very excited because the first time that I ever smelled this fragrance, it made me think of the holidays. It made me think of Christmas. It made me think of getting dressed up for the holidays and that is Burberry Goddess. So this was released, I think, towards the end of summer, almost about to be fall this year and i actually have it on my tray for december because i definitely want to wear it way more i have worn it a few times and i really do love it but i feel like this is going to shine for me for the winter season this fragrance is a vanilla fragrance but to me it's very different from your typical vanilla this is not your gourmand cupcake vanilla or frosting vanilla or anything like that this is more of like an aromatic fresh spicy vanilla it's very to me very sophisticated and just smells very beautiful it just makes me think of having my makeup done being all dressed up feeling super pretty and just smelling like this mm, it smells so good I, I actually think it smells better right now this has vanilla it has lavender there's ginger in here which gives it a little bit of like a fresh spicy feeling not a warm spice I feel like this is like a cool burst of spice. So there is a difference from getting like a very warm, spicy feeling versus like a cool, fresh, zingy ginger spice. So that's what's in here. Mixed in with that vanilla and with some lavender. So the closest that I would say would come to this fragrance would be Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. And they do have their similarities, but then at the same time, they do have enough differences if you wanted to own both of them. But they are in those same vibes. So I definitely cannot wait to start wearing Burberry Goddess. I'm very, very excited for this one. I feel like this would probably work year round, but I feel like for winter, it will just add like, it just smells sexy to me. It's a perfume that smells sexy, but she's not too sexy or too provocative. Like she could be covered up, but still be very, very sexy. That type of classy sexy. 
that's what I get from Burberry Goddess. So that is my first fragrance. I'm super duper excited for this one for this winter. Next up is one that I am very familiar with. I've worn it many times, even though my bottle looks completely full because I only do two sprays of this fragrance. I cannot handle more than that. And that is Killian's Angel Share. I do want to give this one some more love this winter because I did wear it for Thanksgiving mixed with by Rosie Jane Dulce. I shared that combination with you guys in my favorites for November and it was such an intoxicating combo. I want to do it again. I want to wear some more. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this fragrance leading up to the holidays because it just gives that vibe of just warm, spicy, it has cinnamon, it's very boozy. It's perfect for this time of the year. It's perfect for fall time and it's perfect for winter time. This is so beautiful in cold weather. I feel like that's when it shines the most. I used to wear it in Puerto Rico, but I swear to you guys, I had to be so, I'm talking like, like that much because even that little bit over there when I would wear it, Sometimes I would be like, oh my God, I kind of overdid it because it would smell so strong. This is very long lasting on me, performs amazing. The scent bubble will be there the entire time that you're wearing it. And I feel like this is the only fragrance that I've gotten kind of like adventurous and have done like layering combos with when it comes to layering another perfume with it. And I love the combination of it with Dulce. I feel like they are match made in heaven. So. This fragrance, I'm very, very excited to wear this winter season as well. Now, this next one, I believe is a discontinued fragrance, but you can still find it because I have looked for links for it and you can find it on FragranceNet, so I don't mind sharing it with you guys. And I didn't share this one in my discontinued fragrances because I feel like you can still find it, but it is a favorite. I love it, especially when winter comes around. This is one of the fragrances that I just get so excited to wear. So this one for sure, I I know I love it and I hope that it works the same here for me. This is Prada Infusion Diamond. So for all of my almond lovers, I am calling you guys, this is a must have. If you love almonds, if you love soft, a little powdery, sweet it smells like an almond cookie but it also has a little bit of a spice to it which is my favorite part about this fragrance it's so beautiful it's like a delicate fragrance it's very soft i feel like if you're wearing this and you give someone a hug or you're close to someone it's a scent that just makes you want to get closer and closer and just like hug them and and just take it all in it is some people I feel like might get like a root beer type of vibe from this fragrance. I believe I've seen some people say that about it. I don't get that, but I can see how you can get that because it does have a little bit of like a spicy touch to it. This has almond, it has heliotrope, there's musk, tonka bean, and anise. So the tonka bean in here, it just helps to give it a little bit more depth. It just makes it a little warm and cozy and it just smells so good. Mm. It's like... A super soft spice so don't be afraid by me saying spice it just to me it's more of vanilla almond powdery soft musky and then a little tiny bit of a spice so that it's not boring it just gives it the right amount of warmth and it's perfect for bedtime it's perfect to watch movies perfect to go out I feel like you can literally wear this all winter long to different things and it will smell amazing it's intoxicating in my opinion I've been using it for like the past two years I believe this will be like my third year with it and I'm just so excited it's on my tray and I cannot wait to start wearing it I'm actually probably gonna wear it tonight after I shower in the evening so that is Prada Infusion Diamond this next one I have not worn is going to be my first year that I wear this one but I'm very excited and I feel like this fragrance would be very fitting for winter I don't see myself using this in spring or summer definitely fall and winter and this is by I feel like I always say this wrong Zerjoff even though I hear people pronouncing it differently but this is Italica and this was gifted to me by Twisted Lily so I want to say a huge thank you to them for sending this fragrance over because I smelled this the other day 
when I did I have had samples of it in the past but I've never really had the chance to really wear it enjoy it and get to know it so this winter I'm definitely going to be wearing this fragrance way more this is for the gourmand lovers again for those of you who love like tonic fragrances thick creamy fragrances sweet this is very very sweet and this has my favorite notes you guys know i am an almond freak i love it it has almond there's saffron there's milk in here toffee bourbon vanilla sandalwood and white musk and it's just that opening is so intoxicating it's so good it's so sweet and yummy this literally smells like i would just want to be all up in someone's neck if i smell this on someone i even feel like like even if a man was wearing this like i know it smells a little feminine but just i would just be like stuck to them like glue the entire time it's the perfect amount of sweetness it's the perfect amount of depth in it oh my god it's so good you guys i was not a fan of lyra but Italica, sign me up all the way. This is this is like roll your eyes to the back of your head. Good. Now, I'm saying that right now because I'm smelling it on the tester strip and I am just smelling it like in the air. But I have not fully worn this fragrance. So this is where I tell you guys that I am excited to wear it because I want to experience it on myself. So I cannot wait to wear this one. This is so good, you guys. It's so good. So I'm going to be putting... A discount code for Twisted Lily on the screen if you're interested. I believe they have samples of this, so you do not have to buy the full size bottle first. Always sample, and you can get 10% off of your order with the code AmyGlam10. So that's going to be on the screen. I'm also going to be leaving the links to this in the description box, but they have this small size available, which is really, really nice if you don't want to commit to getting like the big, I believe it's like $300. So this one is much more affordable and it's a nice size i mean if you have like a big collection you don't need such a huge bottle but you guys so so good that saffron saffron can be a little bit tricky and in here that milk i feel like the milk just took those sharp edges off of it that's kind of like how my mind pictures it and just softened it up smoothened it up it's refined it's very sweet though so it's for the sweet lovers for sure next up is one of the fragrances that I wore, actually these next two I wore last year for the holidays, nonstop. Last year we went to Miami, which we're doing the same thing this year. We want to spend it with our family and my husband's family and my family both live in Miami. So it's perfect. So we're going to be over there. And last year I wore these two so much while I was over there. We went out a lot to eat. We went over to like his parents house my parents house we would meet up for dinner in places we would go have drinks we went on date night we did a lot last christmas and i'm hoping this christmas is the same so i really loved this fragrance that time of the year and this is by ysl and this is libre le parfum this is the perfect date night fragrance during winter this is the perfect i want to feel sexy and powerful and very just like sexy very very sexy fragrance now the original libre i have not used here there's a lot of fragrances that i want to try again i just don't want to buy like bottles and bottles of perfume and keep going through the same thing but i do want to maybe take a trip to sephora or to nordstrom or macy's or something and just smell a few fragrances but why is the libre the original never worked for me because of the very strong lavender in there now le parfum i feel like they dialed down the lavender and they added saffron and they added honey so again the saffron in here and that honey in here took this to another level along with the vanilla which seems to be getting thicker in mine oh my god yes I believe there's orange blossom in here. I pick up orange blossom as well, but let me take a look before I say that. There has to be orange blossom in here. Yeah, there's definitely orange blossom. So there's ginger in here. I definitely pick up on the citruses. So it gives it like a little bit of a brighter burst in the opening. And I like when citruses are added to these types of strong fragrances because it kind of helps to lift them up and not be so thick and strong it adds a little 
brightness in there. This is so good. This is super duper sexy. I feel like when I wear this fragrance, I want to wear like all black and wear like really nice makeup with my hair down or up because I can definitely see like your hair slick back as well. And just feeling myself like it's just a very feminine, powerful, sexy fragrance. I feel like the original Libre can be a little masculine leaning. So that one's like very independent woman vibes. This one is just like a little sweetened up. She's a little sweeter, not so in your face, but it's still strong. It still makes a beautiful scent bubble. I wore it for New Year's Eve. And I love to pair this one with Wrapped in Vanilla from Bath & Body Works, which is the extreme like opposite. It's like a super sweet cupcake vanilla scent. And mixing those two together just makes it so nice because you smell super duper sweet and creamy and yummy, but then you have this very like strong, sexy, beautiful scent to go with it. So I love this fragrance. The bottle is one of my favorite bottles in my collection. It's just beautiful. It's like you're looking at a model in a bottle. <laughs> I love it. So that is Libre YSL, YSL Libre Le Parfum. And then this next one I wore so much as well in Miami. And this one I also, like the only body care that I took with me was wrapped in vanilla from Bath & Body Works and it worked with so many things to really sweeten it up because I do love really, really sweet scents. So this one is from Commodity and this is gold. This is the expressive one so there's a personal and then there's a bold i have the expressive one i need water my throat is still not 100 percent, and i left it in my room so commodity gold is one of the very few ambery vanillas that i enjoy along with dead cool taunt i'm very picky when it comes to amber but when it's done right and it's mixed with vanilla it can just create like a very sexy warm yet not too thick type of fragrance. That's what this is. It's still dainty. It's not super thick or gourmand or in your face. It has a little bit of like this airiness to it, almost like the same way Baccarat Rouge 540 does where you get this sweetness from it. You get a little bit of woodiness as well, but it's still very airy and light. It's not super dense or thick. So that's what I love about gold. It just smells very pretty. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's just the right amount of sweetness and it's perfect for winter time. And it just smells pretty put together, almost like that clean girl aesthetic for winter time type of vibe. And you can definitely wear this like casually every day or you can wear it to go out. It smells amazing. And that's another one that I love to wear for winter time. These next two, I have talked a lot about this one for fall time, but I actually think that for winter it's probably gonna be even better i didn't get to wear it last month as much as i wanted to so i definitely will probably pick it up here and there even though it's not on my tray but i want to wear it for winter time because i feel like for winter it's going to be beautiful and this is bdk rouge smoking so this is one of the very few cherry fragrances that are left in my collection i noticed that i am not a cherry girl i have tried it i kind of like when it was really really trending i kind of tried to jump on the bandwagon and in puerto rico it seemed to work a little bit better for me than it does here i feel like lately i've just been picking up too much like medicinal vibes and cherry fragrances it smells too syrupy cough syrup like but this one does not do that for me. And this one is just the right amount of cherry along with that Tonka in there. There's also like a powdery vibe in here. This is sweet. I pick up on the vanilla. Definitely a powdery vibe in here. And it's definitely the heliotrope. I feel like that's kind of what saves this fragrance for me because it adds like this powdery smooth, just very soft touch to this fragrance. Even though this is strong, and it gets stronger, I feel like, as you wear it. It really develops on the skin. The tonka bean in here is beautiful. And to me, I just pick up so much of that heliotrope. I feel like the heliotrope is a very important note in this fragrance. I feel like without that, maybe I wouldn't like it as much. But I definitely 
should have put this one in my tray again. I just didn't want to bore you guys with the same fragrances over and over, but I'm definitely going to be picking this one up and sneaking it on because it's so good. I feel like in the cold is when it really, really shines. I feel like in hot weather, this would just be way too much. It would probably give me a headache. And this is another one that I only have to do one or two sprays because if I do too much, again, I just don't enjoy it. I like the scent bubble that it creates when I only do two to three sprays. That's it, that's all I need from this one. So these are the types of fragrances that will last a really long time because you won't go through the bottle super fast. So that is BDK Rouge Smoking and this one you can find at So Avant Garde. I'm going to be leaving my code on the screen which is Amy20 for 20% off your order. They also have samples. They're not available all the time but I try to leave as much as I can in the description box for you guys. So if I find a sample for this I will list it there and also the discount code. A very I feel like a very heavy hitter type of fragrance but I feel like for winter I'm very very excited about this one and I just started getting into this house this is my second fragrance the first one I'm still not sure about I still have it in my collection because I want to give it some time before I decide what to do with it but this one I feel like I'm going to like much more and this one is mind games double attack Look at this bottle. Their bottles are like chess pieces. I like it so much. And now that I've recently been watching Harry Potter, now I can't take my mind off of Harry Potter. I don't know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, quick side note, I never watched Harry Potter and my sister is a diehard Harry Potter fan and she's always like, you need to watch the movies. So I would sit down and watch the first one and since my attention span for movies is just not all the way there, I would watch the first one, I would watch the second one, give up, and then like two years later, I would watch the first one, watch the second one, and I would just stay in that cycle. I finally this year made it to the last. I, I only have two left, which I'm going to watch this upcoming weekend. So now I just, I love it. I'm so happy that I watched them. But anyways, that was totally off topic. So Double Attack. The reason why I'm very excited about this one, you guys, is because this is a super warm chocolate fragrance. But take chocolate and super warm and just mix like that niche, super just heavy hitter quality to a fragrance and that's what you get with this so this fragrance is chocolatey i'm gonna let you guys know the notes this has bitter orange pimento pink pepper cinnamon agave geranium dark chocolate madagascar vanilla sandalwood and bourbon vetiver so there's a lot of notes in here that are going to add super duper spicy touches in there the cinnamon is going to add warmth in there as well the dark chocolate i mean it sounds so good and it's the opening is so good this is this is good and it also could be unisex because even though it's really really yummy I feel like it's not too feminine leaning so I feel like this is something that both a man and a woman could really enjoy. It's warm, it's spicy but then you get that chocolate so it softens that up you know what I mean like the chocolate adds like this it's like a powdery chocolate very warm chocolate it's almost making me think of like a cup of hot chocolate on a very cold day. That is this but it goes deeper than that as well because in the dry down when i did try it on my skin i did start to kind of pick up like that pimento in there which gave it like a very different unique touch that i don't have in any other fragrance in my collection along with like a woody touch i pick up on the cinnamon this is one that i'm very very excited for this winter season and i cannot wait to let you guys know more about this one once i get familiar with it very comforting but you can definitely wear this to go out because it definitely has like that perfumey touch in there. It's a gourmand, but it's not those gourmands where you're gonna feel like you smell like a chocolate cake or something. It's chocolate, but it's expensive, it's sexy, it's deep, it's really, really nice. So very excited for this one. This one is Double Attack, beautiful. So big thank you to So Avant Garde for sending that one over. And then I have these two left and we're done so this next one is dior poison girl 
and you can see how dark mine has gotten this is the edp version i do use the edt version a little bit more like just almost all year long i would say just not in summer but like fall spring winter you can definitely wear the edt version it has more citrus it's a little bit more light and easy going but the edp for me the dry down of both of them are very similar, but I feel like the opening of the EDP is just so much more winter appropriate for me. And it's a little bit heavier and thicker and sweet and almondy. This is very intoxicating and I'm definitely need to wear it this winter as well because it's the only time that I actually enjoy this one. The bitter orange and lemon in here in the opening is so good the orange blossom is in there but it's not that orange blossom that you get tired of really easily orange blossom for me lately has become a floral that it just kind of gets really cloying after a while lately and kind of annoying and boring if it's not done right for example libre le parfum it's done perfectly i love it and in here it's done beautiful as well because that almond is in there i get the vanilla i get the citruses in here to die for this is such such a good winter fragrance gourmand again very thick very sweet very intoxicating i love it now this last one is from a dupe house that i worked with in the past and i kept this fragrance because i knew that i was going to end up absolutely loving it in colder weather and i this is its time to shine i cannot wait this is a dupe for guerlain's gourmand coquine which is like a very chocolatey, warm gourmand, which I never got to smell the original. It's discontinued, and if you find it, it's like sold super duper expensive. But Juliana's perfume has a dupe for it, and this is called Call Me By Your Name. And I actually have only worn this, I could probably say a couple times. I felt head over heels in love with the scent but again i feel like this one's going to do really really good here this is another chocolate scent but this one's definitely more on the sweeter side so i just talked about double attack this is like your warm spicy dark chocolate very sexy this one is more of like your sweeter chocolate it's a little lighter and it's still warm and this one has notes of chocolate, pink pepper, there's vanilla, amber, jasmine in here and then the base is brown sugar, labdanum, benzoin and musk. So this one you guys I sprayed it the other day and I was just like I cannot wait to wear this. I'm so happy I have this because I really wanted the original one but Juliana's perfumes are just so good at what they do. So I'm very confident that this is super duper close to the original one. This is chocolate, but it's such a sexy chocolate. It's not those types of gourmands where you feel like you smell like food. This is a perfume that smells like chocolate. So you still smell very pretty, very beautiful, sexy as well. The chocolate is a little lighter. It's a little more like softer, a little powdery. So sweet. I am just so happy that I'm going to be wearing this. So this is definitely another one that I just cannot wait to wear some more for this winter. So those are my top 10 fragrances that I'm super duper excited to wear this winter season. I cannot wait to hear your favorites for winter. Go ahead and comment down below in the comment section. What are those fragrances that you just save for this time of the year for like the cold Christmas, holidays, New Year's, those parties that you want to feel glam as well as those days that you just want to be cozied up at the house share what are your favorite winter fragrances in the comment section i cannot wait to chat with you guys thank you so so much for being here with me today and with that said that's going to be it for me today give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it it helps my channel out a lot subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that we can hang out together in the future and that's going to be it for me today i will see you guys in my next video